welcome to All Sports Adventure. I'm Nate. Hey, I'm Sarah. And we are coming to you from Arizona, our hometown. <laughs> we have a lot of family in Arizona, so we took some time off for the holidays to come visit food, family, a friend, uh, some of those things that we don't have in Alaska so much. Notice the order she put them in. Such as Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, YC, Canes, uh, Zips. So many great places. But all of that aside, while we were down here, obviously Christmas and New Year's happened, which by the way, Hope you had a great holiday season with Christmas and uh, Happy New Year's, by the way. But we wanted to talk specifically about why we don't like New Year's resolutions. And more importantly, what we would rather do instead. If Sarah didn't already mention it, we are currently on our way up north to her dad's cabin. They're doing some hunting. We're coming in for the, a brief 24 hour period to hang out with them, play some games, uh, share some stories, and ultimately just enjoy time together, which is really pretty much what this trip's been all about. So here we are, and I'm gonna try saying good morning like Sarah typically does. <clears throat> good morning! <laughs> good morning! <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, so we had a great night with the family. Played lots of card games and... Uh, we watched Wild Hogs, puzzles. Yep. Good stuff. Yeah, all good things, all good things. Um, just really nice to be able to hang out with the family. I mean, that's what we come to Arizona for. And of course they feed us amazing food, which is the second reason we come to Arizona. Uh, I woke up this morning, did a little, uh, tried to catch the sunrise with a little time-lapse action, uh, which didn't turn out quite as good as I'd like it to, but hey, I'm gonna get better at it. So now it's time to get into our dislike for New Year's resolutions and what we'd rather do instead. We absolutely love goals or making goals or supporting each other's goals. The difficulty and the problem we have with the, the idea of New Year's resolutions is the idea of one time a year self-reflecting mm -hmm. and evaluating where we're at and where we want to be and making goals this one time as opposed to creating them throughout the year. Something that I've been stuck with in the past uh, I guess both of us is this idea of paralysis by analysis, mm -hmm. analyzing a problem or a goal or thing so much that you Just don't actually freeze. ever do anything. Yeah. And so like for the vlog, for instance, if we would have said, hey, we're going to wait till 27, uh, 2019 to start recording and documenting our life and our goals and adventures, yeah. then we would be 17 vlogs behind and yeah. our knowledge and we would just have no idea like what we have, the idea that we have now. Personally, I don't have the capacity to stay with a year long goal. If you haven't seen my Apple Watch uh, video, it was a 30 day goal that I set to close all my Apple rings for 30 days. After that, I reevaluated how I did, what I did really well, what I need to do better, and I made a new goal. Now, the systematic approach or the way we would like to evaluate ourselves throughout the year instead of just this one time is a method that we got, we're told by some mentors when we were dating mm -hmm. and then when we were going through premarital counseling and now even in marriage, uh, we definitely do this all the time. And this is something that can help you in relationships, in your business, in your personal care. Um, if you're like by yourself or with the team, it can always help and apply. So what do we need to start? What do I need to start doing in pursuit for Sarah or uh, start something in pursuit of a healthier lifestyle, whatever that might be. What's something that I'm not doing now that I need to do? Second is what do we need to stop? Is there something that we're doing currently that doesn't contribute to the overall mission or goal that we have? Something that takes away instead of adds to. Of our, like, that can be our marriage, our my teaching, our, uh, our relationships with our friends, anything like that. Mm -hmm. The next question we ask ourselves is, what is something that we need to continue? Something we're doing well that we need to keep doing? Um, a big one is, how do I make Nate feel loved? Whatever that is, I need to continue to do that in our relationship. If there's something that's working for me in fitness, I need to continue to do that. After you find out what you're doing well, what you need to stop doing, you need to ask yourself, what do I need to do more of and what do I need to do less of? And this is different than 
continue because to continue something you don't need to add any more to it or take away now we're looking at what do you need to add exactly that more to and what do you need to do less of we just quickly shared these five steps that we use to evaluate and kind of determine uh, what level we, of performance we have to have to get or reach our certain goals. And I think these questions help us just live purposeful or intentional lives in every aspect. And like, I mean, they're simple and they can be done fairly quick, whether you're with someone or whether you're by yourself. Year-long goals, not super in my capacity. But if we can ask ourselves these questions every three to four months in our business, our vlog, our marriage, our relationship with others, then we're living purposeful and intentional lives. To wrap it up, these five simple questions of what do I need to start and stop, continue, do more and less of, are a simple way for you to evaluate where you're at and where you want to be, and depending on your time frame, to be there. Thank you guys so much for following us. Thank you guys so much for following us to Arizona. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. If there's anything else I missed, I'm sure you know what to do. Until then, we'll see you back in Alaska. Bye-bye. I like it.